I know you've seen them. All those fancy YouTubers with gazillions of views and they have these awesome thumbnails and their big fat faces are all cut out and they put some cool backgrounds behind them. And you're just thinking, I just wish I could cut my beautiful face out. I'm better looking than them. I should be getting more views. Well, I'm gonna show you how to cut yourself out three different ways. First two are paid, the last one is free and full resolution so you can make amazing thumbnails and get millions of views too. You don't know that? You can't make that promise. If this is your first time here, my name is Trevor, Hollywood editor turned realtor. On this channel, I teach you to create better videos so you can sell more houses and grow your YouTube channel if that's your thing. So hit that subscribe button right down there and whack the bell so you stay current on all things YouTube. Before we get started, riddle me this. Are you happy with your thumbnails right now? The thumbnails you're creating on your channel, are you happy with them? Let me know in the comments below. Just say yes, yes or no. Do that now. That's. <laughs> It's the only payment I ask for in exchange for this valuable information. Cutting yourself out of an image has never been easier, but there are a few things that you can do to make the end result look way better before you ever take it into any software. And number one is to create an image specifically for your thumbnail. Don't just go through your footage and look for a random screenshot and grab something of you uh, mid, mid mouth open. That, that always looks terrible. It's better if you actually create an image, take a photograph before you shoot the video. In fact, a great piece of advice, something Mr. Beast does, is think of what that thumbnail should be before you ever even outline the video. But whatever you do, take a photograph beforehand of yourself and don't just use a screen grab from the video. Number two, make sure your hair is dialed in. Stray hairs are really hard to cut out, so you wanna make sure that you either have your hair combed and groomed well, or if you have minimal hair like me, just go ahead and throw a hat on like this and it's going to make it much easier. Number three, make sure that you are wearing a different color than the background. In this case, it's kind of extreme. There's me in black background that is directly behind me is in white. So that's going to make it way easier for the software to figure out how to cut me out. And number four, if you can get some distance between you and the background, if the background is actually out of focus a little bit, that's going to help the software identify you and cut you out more evenly. In this case, I don't have really room with the lighting and stuff to get very far forward, but because the background is such a contrast compared to what I'm wearing, any software is going to have an easy time cutting me out. And it doesn't matter that the stuff off to the side is black or similar to what you're wearing. What's directly behind me is what matters. The software can figure all of that out. So once you've taken a specific photo, we've taken it to the software. So I'm going to do that right now. I've got my iPhone up there. You don't need a fancy camera to do this. I'm just going to use my iPhone, which is mounted on top of this camera right now and try a couple photos. Here we go. Okay, one of those should work. Now let's take it into the software. Let's start with the most common photo editing app in the world, which is Photoshop. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff it can do, but you only need to know how to do a few things to make good use of it, especially if you're on YouTube and that's kind of your jam and you want to actually make your own thumbnails and still images. So to remove a background, first you just open the photo. I found one that was just kind of okay from the shoot we just did which is located here in downloads. And I shot it, remember, with my phone, so you don't need anything fancy. It's this one right here. You open it up, and you can see I've got other black and stuff in the background, but behind me it's all mostly pretty white, so it should be able to take care of this pretty easily. All you do, you click on this guy right over here, which is the quick selection tool, keystroke is W, and you hit select subject. Boom. Look at that. It perfectly outlined me. It didn't take up any of the background. Oh, it's got a, okay. It's got a little bit of this right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that what it did. And then this will help you kind of, kind of refine it a little bit. See, it grabbed a little bit of that birdhouse right behind me. So I can just take this minus tool here. It's the quick selection tool with a minus. And I'm just going to go like this. I oh, did a little too much go like that. And boom, it's all perfect. So I'm gonna zoom back to full screen. And all I do is I click on edit copy. So it's gonna copy this selection here. I create a new layer by clicking down here in the bottom right and I hit paste. And then I just hide this other layer and boom, there it is, I'm cut out. Now you can add text, graphics, whatever. And what I would probably do just so you know is take me and move me over this way and I'd probably make me a little bigger because you want to see face and I'd probably spend some time losing those 
lines under my face that show that I'm 57 and stuff, and then add some text over here. So that's all there is to cutting out an image in Adobe Photoshop. If you're getting any value out of this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and smash like. That's, that's all I got for my self-esteem, man. The, the, the Prozac's gone. The next option is Canva. If you don't want to learn Photoshop and you do want to create your own thumbnails and graphics, Canva is a great option. It's easy to use. There's a link for it in the description below. You do need the paid version in order to cut the background out. All you do is hit create a design here in the top right. And I usually just go custom size because I want it to be, you know, the right size. I'm going to hit 1920 by 1080, which is the HD size, which is a great size for a YouTube thumbnail. And then you just go to uploads over here on the left. You hit upload media and click on device. And I'm going to go here to my downloads and select this remove background. I named it that so I could find it easily. And you see that it's over here, uploading. All you do is click and drag it over until it snaps so it fills the frame. So I've dragged it here, but if I drag it up here to the top left, it's going to snap and fill the entire frame. And then I just go up here to effects. And I have here the very top thing is background remover. Again, this option is only available in the paid version. And I just hit background remover and let it do its thing. And I'm letting it run so you see exactly how long it takes. And it's their processor and your internet that probably determines how quickly that happens. And it did a pretty great job, right? Now I can use these tools here to restore some things if I wanted to, like, oh, I need that. But let's hit cancel that part. Or I could erase some things if I didn't want my head, but let's hit cancel that. So you can kind of dial it in. In fact, if I look down here, I can see that I've got a little bit of schmutz. So I'm gonna hit erase and I'm going to change the brush size to something smaller just erase this tiny bit of the, probably the birdhouse there, and then I'm done. Then all I do is I hit download, and you want to use a PNG because a PNG can have a transparent background like this one. So I will hit PNG and hit transparent background. In size, I want it to be, you know, big, so I can tweak it out and it'll still look good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way up to three. It makes a huge image, but it's going to be something better to work with. Now I can download this, and it'll download the background and I can bring that into Photoshop or any other app online. Or since I'm in Canva, I would probably just stay in Canva and use its other features to create my entire thumbnail, doing things similar to what it would have done in Photoshop, which is drag me over here to the right. You should usually have your face on the right and the text on the left because YouTube puts schmutz over on this side. It makes it hard to read text if you have it on this side. So move me over, blow me up, all those kinds of things. But that's all there is to cutting it out with Canva, with the paid version of Canva. Oh, random side note. Want to see uh, my house? There's, there's my house. Just built it this year. And uh, that's my forest. Ding. And there is Boomer and Abby. You know, I got another channel with Boomer and Abby. It's called uh, Life Untethered. You should, you should check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. We do a lot of traveling. Now, I'm sure what you really came here for was, how can I do this for free? So to do it for free, just go into Google and type in remove background. And you'll see up here, there's an app called remove background. And this one works fine. And for free, it will remove your background, but it'll do it low resolution. If you want the high resolution version of your face cut out, you need to pay for it. So what is better is free background remover, online background eraser from Adobe. And you just hit upload your photo. Now you will have to create an account if you don't have one. And this is something that is free for a limited time. Who knows, it might be for all time, but it's free right now. So take advantage of it and just create a simple account for free if you don't already have an Adobe account. So I can drag the image here, or I can upload it. So I'm just gonna drag that same image over here from my finder window. And Look what it's doing. It's automatically removing the background because that's all this part of the app does. Boom, you're done. And if you don't have an account, it'll make you create one for free. And you just hit download and then boom, it's downloading the image. And you can see if we look at that image, go to my desktop and I can see that I've got a lot of junk on my desktop, but I'm gonna hit command I so I can see how big that image is and I can see that it is 2.5 megabytes, which is 
4,000 by 2268. So it's a good solid sized image that you can work with. You can bring that into Canva if you don't have the paid version of Canva or into Photoshop or any other app and work with it. And it looks like this, me with no background. And I can see that it missed a couple things. There's a little white space there, a little space right here, but it really did a good job removing me. If you wanna get all my training for free, click that link right down there, book a discovery call with me. If you wanna learn how to create awesome thumbnails with Canva, click there. YouTube thinks you wanna watch that video. Hit subscribe to make sure you stay current on all things YouTube and social media. I can't wait to see you cut your beautiful face out.